All right, what's up, everybody? We have an impromptu hangout video. Yeah, this wasn't supposed to happen. No, it was not. I have a bit of a plumbing emergency, and luckily, Larry is inept. It's not physical. I'm inept. It's not physical plumbing. No, not that kind of plumbing. It's <laughs> under my sink, not my undercarriage, my sink. <laughs> so we figured we'd bring you with us. The way we're doing now is we had to go to Larry's house to get the tools to take the piece off. We're gonna take the piece to Lowe's to measure it up and make sure we get the right re replacements and then we're gonna replace it. Yeah, guys, that's always the best thing to do is to take it, take, if you can, take the whole part there and fit everything there at Lowe's or, or wherever you're taking or to the plumbing store and get the parts for it and then go back and then put the new ones in. It's, it'd be a lot easier that way. Yep, and guaranteed less trips. Yes. Because, you know, you're yeah, gonna you'll have forget all. something and you'll be like, oh crap, we gotta go back. And we live in the middle of nowhere, so it's always a hike to get anywhere. Yep. It's nice out today, nice fall day. I don't like fall. I like the fall. There's ice all over my car this morning. Yeah, that's more like winter. Yeah. Winter, winter. It's coming quick. All right, we'll see you in there. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the lounge. Sort of. <laughs> we are fixing a leak. Oh, you want, let, me, let me shine a light on it. Yeah, that valve, everything's gonna go underneath it. Yeah, we gotta replace all this stuff right there. Yeah, fun times. So the smallest guy gets to go in here. Yeah, he's definitely the smallest guy. We're gonna try to take this off. This is uh, this is fun. Plumbing's never fun. No, not at all. No, but it's fun to hang out. You gotta make the best out of every situation. That's the, that's the moral one. Yeah. And hopefully, I won't cuss so Tom has to take anything out, right? That is true. Let's work the time. Happy time, happy life. Oh, gosh. It's hard to get leverage here, too. <laughs> I'll give you some leverage. <laughs> oh, no. No, it's something it's landing in my face. <laughs> it go in your mouth? No. All right. Let's see if I can get leverage here. This is all tight. Who, who over tightened this? Not me. You sure you're going the right way? Yeah, lefty loosey. Yeah, but you're upside down. Yeah, lefty loosey still. No, not, I, I broke my toilet going lefty loosey when I was upside down. I'm going this way. So that's to the right? Yeah, clockwise. Ah, uh. oh, I did it. I got it. I did it. I smashed my finger, but I did it. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I don't know why I'm questioning you. You know what you're doing, but one time, that toilet, that I, I'm the one who replaced that because I was replacing a toilet seat and I was underneath it and I was going righty tighty and I went too far and I broke. Ceramic cracks real easily. Okay, that's done. Part one finished. Well, guess what? Your pipe just broke right off. What pipe did? Oh, so that was definitely what was, oh, how are we gonna get that out of there that's now? The problem right now. I wasn't supposed to do that. All right, so that definitely was the problem then. Yeah. So now we got a broken pipe inside here. Wow. Can you get like um Well, we're gonna get needle nose. Yeah, better say needle nose pliers and pull out the, the yeah, thread. Yeah, we're gonna try and do it that way. That's crazy that just happened. Yeah. So that definitely was leaking from there. Yeah. At least we know where the leak yep. came from. Yep. That part we don't have to worry about. Yep. Alright, you wanna come back out? Well That know, was easy. I didn't bring any needle nose pliers. I definitely have those All right. in my tackle box. Alright. <laughs> your tackle box. Yeah, I know where those are at. What's up, guys? We are now going to Lowe's. Yeah, welcome to Lounge TV. Yep, I'm Joe. And I'm Larry. And we're fixing my plumbing. In the midst of fixing our plumbing, my plumbing, this pipe that we're replacing broke into the wall, so now this is in the threads where the new pipe has to go. Yeah, it broke exactly where it was leaking. Yeah, for sure. So it was all corroded out. Um, chances are, if I we even would have got a pipe wrench on, because that—I mean—I didn't even put any pressure. No, yeah, the thing just broke one off. So, um, yeah. So now we have uh, more work to do, and we're trying—we're going to try and figure out some an e the easiest way to do this without replacing the whole yes piece of that pipe. But I which our guess is, we're going to have to get what's called a shark bite. Yeah. Unless we can find a tool to get it out of there, we tried uh, all of the, the techniques that we know of. Yeah. That he knows of. Let's be honest. Yeah, I would try to grab. What Good happened, guys, is that it broke off almost even with the edge of the pipe. So there was only a little piece hanging off. So I tried to get it to to like pry away the the pipe, and uh, that little piece broke off. And there's no there's no nothing to grab. There's nothing to grab now. Right. So we're gonna see if there's a tool for this said situation. 
And if there's not, then we're going to have to cut the pipe, put a sharp light fitting on, which will bring up to a 90 degree, and then do everything else the same way as that. Yes. Yay! Yep. Sharp lights do make plumbing way easier. Yes, and I'll tell you what, guys, this is what happens to me all the time whenever I'm working on something in my house. It's like whatever can, you know, Murphy's Law, yeah. whatever can go wrong, goes wrong. Exactly. There's always extra stuff, unfortunately. But usually when I'm at home by myself, I do a lot of cussing. You know, what's funny is that this all derived of being extra because I had to fix a clog in my drain, which I did perfectly. And then as I was checking for leaks in the drain after I fixed it, I noticed there was a leak in my plumbing. And that's where it all began. Uh, so luckily I did notice it then because it would have became a big, bigger problem than... Oh, eventually the whole pipe was just going to break off. Would have burst it yeah. off and it would have been a huge mess. Yep. There's barely any water that we have to worry about now. So yay. So after we get these pieces, then we'll show you what we got to do to fix this thing. And then eventually we'll close this video off at the lounge drinking a beer. <laughs> exactly. Can't wait for it. All right. So what's going on now is he's cutting the pipe, guys. Yep. And what I'm using is a little straight hacksaw like that and you know I didn't really think about it but I probably should have is that I should have bought an extra uh, blade blade yeah I can't tell where that was so I shouldn't have stopped this is not the most comfortable no you're not in the most optimal positions here oh yeah there really isn't much room there at all is there no. Do you want me to get a flashlight that you don't have to hold? If one can stay there, then... Let me see. Larry, do you want to get down there and kind of give them a view of what you did real quick? Sure. I cut that pipe right there as straight as I could because I was on an angle. It's a hacksaw. So now what I'm going to do is, before I even put the shark plate down on it, I'm going to put, put yeah, this and connect... The connect these two together. You see the bottom of that and the bottom of this. So, but this is, guys, sharp plates make plumbing easy for almost everybody, right? It's got like little teeth inside there. You can't really focus, it's hard to focus in on there. Yes. But it goes in, you push it down in the pipe and it locks in. Right. So you don't have to solder it, you don't have to, any, and they can connect to all different kinds of. Right. And I want to do this first because if I don't do this first, I would have to get do it underneath there. Back there. And, and, and everything underneath there is hard because it's small. Right. So I'm putting that there. This is going to screw onto this. Now, I'm going to screw this on first before I even make sure that this is the right one. Yeah, before I even... Um, before I make sure it's the right one. Is this the right one? Yeah, the little one goes to the uh, the sink. Yeah, this will the be The little there, on top to the big on the sink. Okay, yep. gotcha. All right, so yeah, I'm going to tighten this one here first, guys. And then I'm going to pop that on there. Then we're going to put a valve. We're going to hook shut the, off, the yeah. shut off valve to it. And then run it up to the faucet. See, the reason why I want to do this now is because I have this on there. And it'd be twerking the whole yeah. time. Yeah, oh no, that's also smart. And you get extra torque. Yeah. All right. It's good to have people who this thing. And dude. you always want to use... You always want to use a Teflon tape on these kind of fittings, guys. Which there were none on the fittings right. before. So you just make sure that you have it on there nice and good. This end, wherever that valve is. Should be in there. Should be in the bag, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right down the side. <laughs> so this valve is going to go like this, guys. We don't need this or this. This is going to screw on to here. So we have a shut off valve. Then I'm going to put this hose here to his water line. Right. And there we go. And then we'll turn fix. on the water and see what happens. And, we're, and we hope that everything works. Yeah, and we pray. There's no more leaks. All right, so here comes the fun part. i got to get back in there again. So how do you put this on there, Larry? I have to explain things. I won't be able to get down there to okay, get in. Okay, so you're going to just, where that, where that pipe is, you're going to get that in the center there, and you're just pushing it down. That's it. And these little teeth grab a hold of it. And, and how do you know if it's sealed? Oh, you'll know. You won't be able to pull it back. You won't be able to move it back yeah. at all. And you don't want to twist it at all. You just want to push it down on there. Let's hope it works. I'm pretty sure. I don't think you want to twist it. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> so I think you should know this. I don't use, the only time I ever used shark bite was down your basement. Well, you did a great job there, too. It's still still working. I right? wish we had a basement. It's a crawl space. Well, I bet you wish we had a basement, too. I, I wish you had a bigger cabinet down here. And a basement. And a basement, yeah. Well, the walls are here. There's not much I can do about it. Okay. Uh...
you put it around a pencil end. That's smart. And then you can use it like that to go. So you're saying it. a tent. So if we had to have done it and underneath here where there's no room, that's what you would do. Right, exactly. But he has plenty of room here. So now I'm just going to. Now is that shut off? Uh, I don't know. See, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. We're going to hook everything up before we turn it on, right? Let me see. And yeah, and you want to go the same way around this as you're going to screw on. That's so a great that if point. You go, if you went the other way, you would just be taking it off, right? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go and do both of these, so that and a lot of times the end gets all crimped up. So yeah, so you just go like that, tear it off. Now, what does this do? It just helps the water helps from going. It. Yeah, it helps, it helps seal, seal it, it when you yeah. screw it down tight. Faults actually want to give the definitive answer. What's so funny, dude? <laughs> I, I didn't want to give a definitive answer. All right, and I put it on this end, guys, and then I got to get, that's going to be the hard part, and that's where you might want to use a pencil to put it around the, uh, where I'm going to screw it all the way at the top, because I won't be, either that or you break off a piece, and, yeah, and you go and like that it around. around it, which I've done that plenty of times, too. Um, before I go and attach it, attach, well, actually, yeah, I can do it like this, because everything's easy now. I don't have to be back in there all the way. So, I'm just going to tighten this on here. Should we test the water now? Uh, no, because I think it's open. Oh no, it's open when you do this. I, right? I don't yeah, know. It's That's open. Not, it, yeah, it's open now. It's not worth finding out. Yeah. yeah. So what I want to do here, guys, is I want to take my open end, wherever they are. Take my open end so I can hold it there while I tighten it up. Uh, actually, we only have one open end, so what we'll do is we'll take the vice grips and we will hold this with the white strips while I'm tightening it up. There we go. And also, one of the things you want to do is, at this point, you want to make sure that it's this way so you're not going to hit that with your pliers. Did you see that? Yep. Joe needs a bigger vanity. Yeah, there's not much I can do here. The wall's right. here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tighten this up on here. So if I can get it. Yeah, so you got pretty tight. Okay, so now, guys. Now, theoretically, if that was shut off, I could turn the water on. It wouldn't do anything. If I have it in the closed position, which I believe, let's see. How, how sure are you? Uh, let's <laughs> see. It says, uh, my glasses suck here without light. Um, I think I think it's always the way these work is like when it's that's why I think that too. It means it's open, yeah. Right, and when it's when perpendicular, it's hands closed it's it off. Like that, right? I agree. So, do you want to try it now, or do you want to? What do you think? I'm just hoping that this this is the only one I'm worried about is this shark bite. Right, so it'd be easier to do it now, right? And guess what? What? It wasn't all the way down, and it just went all the way down. So now, now it's actually on. So now you're going to do? I'm going to put the bucket under here. Okay. And then, we, and then we. Okay. Wait, let me get the bucket there. Yeah, you grab the camera. And then Joe's going to go turn the water on. And we're, we're going to see if best. we got any leaks, guys. We're hoping for the best. It's a very tight spot there. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I didn't make it out. <laughs> but but yeah, the as, you, as you can see. Joe's going to turn on the water right now. Oh, and okay. All right, you can turn it off. All right. All right, we see where it's leaking at, guys. Leaking? Yeah. Shit. That's all right. I know where it was leaking. Right in the shark bite? Guys, yeah. No, no, it's actually down here at the valve. It, oh. needs, it needs to be tighter. Oh, that's cool. Come on, dog. Okay guys, so you saw where it was leaking from. It was leaking from the valve here. So what we can do is tighten that up a little bit tighter. I don't know what's leaking behind the sink here. That doesn't make any sense. Let me see. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. Tight so it, it was leaking at the top too. All right. On top of the valve? No, from up at the very, very, from your sink. So the, because you have, it might not, it might be in the hot water right now too. Did you turn it off? It's off. I'm going to turn this one real quick just to let, let the line drain out. It's leaking out of here. That's weird. Oh, that seems really... Oh, you're losing it. Yeah. 
I just want to get the line out. Yeah, it'll take a second. What's leaking though from the top is leaking down? Yeah, it's weird. I can't tell if that. I thought I just saw water drip out of the shark tank. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah, because the faucet's on. That's why the hot water came on. All right, guys, we're three hours in. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have, we've had issues, but we think we figured out what the problem was. Okay, so this is that little trick I was telling you guys about. So I'm going to put Teflon tape around this. So obviously, you can use a pen as well. We don't have, I don't have a pencil. I do have pencils, but they're right. smooth pencils. So then I'm going to go like this. And this is the hard part. If you can see, it's leaking in there because we already tried it. Like three different times. Three different times. And this is the hard part because I only have two hands and I need three. That's, that's the that's the tripod. The yeah. See, if I had a pencil, it'd be on the end right now, but I don't have one. Oh, so it doesn't matter if it's a smooth pencil. No, I I just need the Teflon tape on the end of it, not in the middle. On the tip of it. Yeah. See, that's no good. I can't. Right, I'll give you a pencil. Hold on. We're gonna get this figured out. The fun thing about the, the this stuff is that it never goes right the first time. Um, that's the uh, that's the motto of the story. Hey, I got a very sparkly one for you, Larry. Looks like the uh, you look like the um, the the witch from Wizard of Oz. Who does I do? With your feet just sitting out like that, uh, like you get crushed by a house. Uh, oh. <laughs> the red red slippers. Yeah, exactly. Except for you have your Jordans. Alright, there we go. That's much better. Now I can get in there. You got in there before the problem. Yeah, I don't know what happened this time. I just got lucky. It could be. Yeah, see? This is the hard part is going around this whole thing because I can't hold it there, guys. There we go. Nailed it. There we go. So we're hoping that we figured it all out. Yep. We're hoping that it was the washer that was missing on one of the shuttle valves that we used. Okay. It feels very I tiring. I think this is uh, round four. Yes, which is pretty standard issue, right? You should have saw us doing the other plumbing that he had Absolutely. to do. He, he had to make like a whole hit of manuf yeah, like, um, what, what's the word I'm thinking of? Not manufacture. What's that? That whole concoction you did for the downstairs plumbing you did that one time. What's the word I'm thinking of? Um, you did, not manufacture, it's like manufacture. You had to make something. To, that you uh, had to, to fit yours. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, we had to we had to pre do. I guess uh, rig it would be the word, but his basement pre fab it, yeah, fabricated. Yeah, we fabricated it. That's the word. Outside and then went downstairs. Yeah. If I finished off the last because Joe's basement. It's a crawl space. It's not a crawl basement. space. It sucks. And uh, yeah, it's not very comfortable. No. Well, it's good for his. So I hear it's nice for a crawl space. It is. You got nice. You got a. You got concrete floor down. So as far as crawl spaces go, it's top of the line. The problem is it's crawl space. It's a small space for a big dude. It's even tight for Larry down there, so it lets you know how tight it would be for me. Oh yeah, it was tight. So what he's doing now is he's tightening it down from, from the water supply up to the bottom of the sink is what right. the goal is going to be here. Okay. So we have that in there, guys, and now I have to attach this up to here. Which I will better film. I got to put more. Teflon tape on. He's gonna Teflon it up. We'll be back hopefully when this is all fixed. Yeah. Okay guys, so I just left Joe's house. We got it done finally, no leaks. Uh, we had to bypass the shutoff valve and just put a hose on. I think we showed that to you. Um, it, it's gonna work until eventually we buy the right shutoff valve for that. I'm sorry about the uh, the sunlight here guys. But um, yeah, we got it working. That's the main thing. He needs water in his house, so he's got that until we we temporarily fixed it, which is not a big deal. We just need the right shutoff valve with the right thread threaded in. Um, it was very hard to figure out stuff in Lowe's, but we got it going, and that's what it is. You just got to kind of uh, problem solve things, you know, and get it working until you fix it exactly the way you want to but no leaks and that's the most important thing so hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw two idiot plumbers today um, try to fix a problem so guys until next time grab yourself something cold to drink put your feet on relax I'll meet you at the lounge